Hey y'all, hey, and welcome, or welcome back to XOXO Sharina's YouTube channel. I am Sharina. If you are new here and you have not already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let's get right on it. around for a minute one thing you know that I love to do and that is shop on Amazon that two-day shipping really does it for me so because there's so many options and so many things that you can get on that app or website if you like to shop that way and it's just really easy to use I just love me some Amazon here are the things that I love and did not love from Amazon. I don't want to share it all in this video. So let's start with these spa headbands. I love, love, love these. Um, after I purchased these, I realized that you can also get the pack of the headbands with like the handcuffs. So when you're washing your face and the water like comes down, so annoying. And I always have my and I always have my robe on, so it like goes into my robe. Well, they have the cuffs that match the headbands that you can buy as, as a set. I am going to go back and purchase those, but for now, I only have the headbands, and I absolutely love these. You just put them on your head um, and wash your face or do your makeup, and it's perfect because this uh i washed these before and the makeup easily comes right on out but getting makeup on here like it it doesn't bother me it's absolutely okay i'd rather be on here than in my hair so these are great and then also they do a really good job of keeping your hair like your hairline your edges dry while you're washing your face this is for those plant moms out there if you are a plant mom then you know that you may deal with bugs here and there. You may deal with those gnats, especially those pesky gnats, more like in the spring and summertime. This right here is great for catching gnats, even if you if you deal with fruit flies, like fruit flies in the summer. Um, this is great to even put in your kitchen. You just push the button on top, and then uh, this right here is a light, so a little light comes on, which attracts them. So especially like at night, when you cut all the lights off, this little light will stay on and it'll track them. There's a fan down in here and it pushes them right on down in this thing. And then you just twist and open it. I absolutely love this. This was a lifesaver this year. I don't know why there was so many nets. Um, well, I know why. A, a gnat got in my plant and I didn't realize that it was in the plant. It had already been in it. It had babies. And by the time that I started trying to fight against it, it was a lot of them fighting against me. So this actually helped and took care of pretty much all of the gnats. Um, I used this and then I also used like a plant safe uh, bug spray repellent to put in the soil so that along with this definitely got rid of them but if you deal with fruit flies in the summertime this is great too especially like your trash can a lot of people think that it's just like the fruit get all the fruit out and clean your drain so you don't have drain flies but it's the trash that actually they're getting in your trash and a lot of them are being created in the trash can so if you put one of these by your trash or just somewhere in your kitchen this will help you a lot in the summertime. Next up is this flat iron. You probably may have already heard about this flat iron. You may already know about this flat iron, but in case you do not, this right here um, definitely helps a lot. I already have. I have like this old flat iron. I refuse to get rid of it because it's at that point where it's like old and it gets hot fast and does the job pretty quickly so I don't want to throw that out but I got this and I don't remember the inch but I'll definitely link everything down in the description box um of course this is typically something that you would see for short hair girls 
And as you see, my hair isn't short um, anymore. So, but I did buy this recently. And the reasoning was so that when I flat iron my hair, I was getting down in the roots. So I kind of use two flat irons, but this gets like your baby hairs. It gets those roots to get your hair like as flat as you possibly can get it. Um, this flat iron helps a lot. So I will link this down below. It gets pretty hot. I think it goes, goes up to like 400 degrees or something like that. Um, I don't typically put it up that high. But if you wanted to take it up, I do believe it goes up to like 400. Um, and it has a auto shut off, which I absolutely love because my other flat iron, I'm, I think it actually does have it. I think it does have an auto shut off. So this does as well. After so long of using it, it will shut off. However, the downside is if you are taking a while to flat iron your hair, like I have thick hair, so it takes me a while to flat iron my hair um it will probably shut off on you while you're using it so you just have to keep checking to make sure it doesn't stay off and the display is like in here um it may stay off but you just have to cut it back on but you have to keep in mind as you have it sitting there to just check it every now and then because it will shut off on you and you will not know Okay, next, y'all always know that when I do Amazon hauls, I have to talk about press line nails because your girl does not have the patience to sit in the nail salon anymore. But I do get uh, press lines from Amazon. However, some of them I love and then some of them not so much. Um, and these right here are kind of like on the in-between, so I don't really know if I'm going to give you the link for these because I don't know how I feel about them, mainly because the thumbs keep popping off. Can you see? Can you see? They keep popping off. So I don't know about these, but there are um, a few that I did love that I know I purchased between the last video and this one. So I'll definitely make sure I link it below. Anytime I find nails that I absolutely love, I always put them in my Amazon shop. And if I don't, then and you see me wear them in a vlog and I don't talk about them, it's probably a reason why. So therefore they're not in my Amazon shop. And last in the category of things I love, y'all, this, this right here is my shit. I love this. And you're probably like, what is that disc? This is actually a candle warmer. So if you're like me and you burn your candles all day long and you have like a little bit at the bottom of the jar, that's where this comes in handy. So you've already um, burned the candle all the way down and you only have a little bit to the point where you can't even light the wick anymore, but you know you can still melt that wax so that you can still, you know, have that scent. Well, that's where this candle warmer comes in and you just plug it in, you know, it has a plug, you plug it in, there's a button in the front, you push the button, and then there's a digital display to show you like the degrees and I think it goes, I always put it on 131 degrees, but I know it's 104 to 131 to 150 something and then there's another one after that I think, but I always stop at 131 that typically works. And I leave it, um, I leave the candle or I leave this on typically like the whole time I'm working, it will melt the whole entire candle. Um, but it does take a while for that wax to actually like start to, I guess, go away, um, melt, disintegrate. I don't know. Um, so the candles that I have used this with, I still have a full candle even though I've melted them down completely probably at least three to four times at this point. So to me, I feel like I'm getting a longer use out of my candles. Now, if you want to melt your candles down and then turn around and light the wick, you don't want to use this. You want to light the wick first and burn it that way um, because when the whole thing of wax melts, it's going to shift your your wick so you may not even like your wick might unless you keep in mind to you know 
do something to get them to make sure that they're straight. Um, if not, your wicks are gonna melt any kind of way. I have one candle where the wick is completely gone. I can't even light it. I can only use this. Like I, I, I don't even have a wick anymore. And I'm absolutely okay with that because that was, <laughs> that when I first got that candle, I didn't even try to light it. I just use this. So I'll just continue doing that. It's a seasonal candle anyway, so I'm fine with that. But if you, um, you know, you want the ambiance of a regular candle, you want to burn it down first and then you'll use this to melt the bottom. And I've used it on a few candles when I just had like a little bit, I want to say maybe two or three candles and I've melted those down to the point of like, it was only a little bit of wick and I just poured it out. Like it's only a little bit left so I could pour it out and then that's a good way of reusing those jars if you want to clean those out and just reuse the jar I mean you use the full product so you definitely got your money's worth but you don't have to keep throwing those out anymore you can use something like this to melt it down and it has a auto shut off so I don't even turn this off it cuts off on its own after so many hours it just turns off I have left my house I've come back I don't even think about this it just comes on and or I turn it on and then it just goes off on its own sometimes um before I walk up the door I'll just look to see if it's on and it's already off so I really it's like really low maintenance you don't have to think about anything your candle melts down completely the only thing you have to be careful is if you pick up your candle jar that jar is going to be really hot that is something you have to keep in mind but other than that I love these and I will recommend and I'll definitely link below Okay, now moving on to not my like okay slash worst Amazon purchases. You know, a lot of things you get from Amazon are just, you know, pretty great. But then there are some things that might not be that amazing. <laughs> and um, yeah, so this is what I can say probably, and I can't even, oh, hey. This little thing right here, I could say was probably my worst purchase from Amazon. And I don't know if I should say worst or okay-ish because I don't know if it's me or this, but I cannot get this thing to work. So this is a UV light. It has a USB cord. You plug it up. It's a UV light for your nails. And here's the glue that goes with it. However, every time I use this combination together, I can never get my nails to stay on. So I was told at first that you can't use like, like these kind of nails because it's too much on it. It has to be like a clear base nail. But no matter what I do, no matter, it doesn't matter. It, this, this doesn't work. It doesn't work. I just, I assume it's me and not the product, but maybe it is the product. I have no idea. This, I would say, would be my worst purchase. By the time I try to use it and figure out if I was going to keep it, it was like too late to return it. So, y'all, I'm stuck with it, but I'm not in love with it at all. The next item I have is, y'all, that dress, that pink dress that I purchased for what I thought was going to be my birthday dress. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't work out. It didn't work out at all. It didn't look like the picture. I just wasn't in love that. Yeah, that is definitely listed as my worst Amazon purchase. Now the last worst purchase. Um, I, I'm going to just group it together and I don't have them anymore, but um, I purchased some lashes from Amazon before and, you know, a few pairs of nails because y'all know I love purchasing press on nails. But the lashes to me, like, you know, nails, You, I read the descriptions and I kind of look at the designs. I realize that if they look more gel and they have more of like a clear base those stick on they last the best so you know playing with stuff like this I know that 
these just aren't gonna last that long. There's some that they are more uh, gel and they have more of a clear base and uh, maybe with just like a little uh, simple design on top. Those are the type of nails that last the absolute longest. So when I play around with the other nails, I know I'm kind of, I'm kind of pushing it, and I know they're not gonna last that long. But for that reason, I mean they're still on Amazon, and yeah, they still fall in the, I'll say they fall in the okay category, maybe not the worst. I have purchased lashes as well that I would say they're on the worst, and. I would really try to look at the reviews, but you know, the reviews are like all of the lashes that that store sells. So a lot of times you're thinking you're looking at the review just for those lashes, but really it's all their lashes that they sell. So you really have to pay attention to what they're saying they purchased um, or see if, if their review is um, connected to the type of lashes they purchase, especially if it's the type of product page where you click on it and there's like multiple options that you can purchase from. That means their reviews are going to be on multiple lashes, not just the ones you're looking at. So there's been times where I think it, this happened twice where I purchased the lashes, they come like a set of like seven or something. It's like, great, I had these lashes for a while. But they don't look on me like they look in the picture so it's definitely a trial and error when it comes to purchasing lashes from Amazon I know this trial and error when it comes to lashes period but if you have a model that is wearing the lashes at least that kind of gives me an idea of what they look like however I'm starting to learn that some of them um, don't really look like what they look like on the model in the pictures. So it's kind of like buy at your own risk. <laughs> it's kind of how I'm feeling at this point. Or, you know, just go back to Target or the beauty supply. I was trying to, I, I thought it just made more sense to get them from Amazon because you got more for like eight bucks. But it's starting to be a little difficult. So I don't know that reason i would say you know buyer beware some of the amazon um, lashes are definitely in the worst category so you know just be careful definitely pay attention to those reviews when you um are going to purchase some eyelashes or even some nails on amazon it for me let me know what y'all thought about my best and worst Amazon purchases. Let me know what y'all thought. Tell me your stories. Let me know if uh, these things work for you or something that's on my worst list. Maybe it was on your best list. Help me out. Let me know. Let's discuss in the comment section below. And thank you so much for watching. As always, until the next video.